What's going on guys? In this section, we will learn about the candlesticks. Now in the previous sections, we were learning about not only support, resistance, trends, and channels, but now we're gonna learn about the candlesticks to actually form the support and resistance. To now move on forward, as we can see in this diagram here, we have two different candlesticks. In this case, we're gonna have the red candles representing the bearish candles, and the green candles representing the bullish candles. So in this case, I'm going to show you guys exactly how each candle opens. So for in this case, let's look at the red candle, the bearish candle. As we can tell, the candle actually opens up above in the top. And for when it creates a new higher point, it would go up. And then when it comes down in retracement, it would leave a wick or in other terms, a shadow. Now we also see the body. The body is formed as price goes below the opening price. Now, if the price goes all the way low, as you get, let's say it goes all the way to the lowest point, and then it starts retracing back towards where the body is, it'll start leaving also a wick or a lower shadow. In this case, the price will close below the opening price, and we have now a full candle formed. Now, the same thing happens with the bullish candle, but in this case, the bullish candle actually opens and closes in opposite direction. So think about it like this. Each candle that's forming, if we're talking about a bullish candle, the bullish candle actually opens up from the lowest point or the bottom. And if it goes to create a lower point below the area that it opened in, it would create a lower wick or shadow. Now, if it continues going up and goes past its opening price and creates a new higher point, it would create a new upper wick or upper shadow. Now, let's say it continues to go up and then it starts retracing and then price closes out. We have now a full candlestick with two wicks. Now, to move on forward, now that we know how each candlestick is open, it's important to understand that there are different types of candlesticks. Here we have a long bodied candle with no wicks or shadows, like we like to say. As you can see, there's two different candles here representing. We, uh, once again, we will go with the red and green. Red representing the bearish candle and green representing the bullish candle. For the red, you would notice that there is no wick. Simply price opened and closed and it had no retracements during this time frame. Usually you would notice that this happens when the market is having a strong push down or it's first sign that the market is going in a bearish direction. Now, in the case where you guys look at the green candle, which is the bullish candle, it's the same exact thing, just in opposite direction going up. Moving on forward, the next set of candles that we will learn about are long and short bodies. In this case, you can notice that a long body is basically just like the last body that we learned, but now in this case, we have a upper wick and lower wick. Same thing goes for the short bodies. Now, if we notice that in this case, we would have a real small body with both upper and lower wicks. Now, I want you guys to understand the difference between these two because the short bodies show very little buying or selling activity. Most likely due to that, there's no movements or, or people are undecided which way they want to go. Now, if you look at the long bodies, you would see that this is showing a strong buying or selling activities. The longer the body is, the more intense the buying or selling pressure becomes. And this means either buyers or sellers who were in control now fully took control. Now let's look at the dojis and spinning tops. In this case, you have a doji which has the same open and closing price with a large wick, both on the upper side and the bottom side. On spinning tops, we'll notice that the spinning tops have a small body with small wicks. Now, it's very important that you understand the difference between a spinning top and a short body. See, if we focus on the spinning tops, we'll notice that it'll have a very small body with longer upper and lower wicks. The difference between a spinning top and a short body is very hard to determine. But in this case, we both know that they both show signs of either indecision or no activities. Now, I want you guys to understand that the color of the box or the body within that candle has no significant value towards this candle. Now, if we look at the dojis, we'll notice that they'll have really long wicks with little to no body. 
Now, there are different types of dojis. As you guys can see here, there are four different types. We have the long-legged doji, the dragonfly doji, the gravestone doji, and the four price doji. The only reason I'm putting this out here is so you can understand that a doji necessarily doesn't always need to have a wick. It literally can open and close within the same price with no wick within that moment. Now, I want you guys to put all this information together as we'll get closer to tying everything that we're sharing with you guys here and really get an understanding of what a candlestick does and how they form patterns and certain different types of formations in the markets. Now, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to rewatch this video or reach out to me if you have any questions. I thank you guys once again for taking your time out and I'll see you guys in the next section.